In today's video, I'm bringing you my 40 card Rex Raptor deck profile. Coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 YGO. In today's video, I'm bringing you my 40 card deck profile for Rex Raptor, the famous dinosaur duelist. And hey, if you want to join the 414 community, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future deck profiles. So, like I said, Rex Raptor, the famous dinosaur duelist, I had a lot of fun building this deck. Once again, like the Weevil deck profile I've just done, uh, Rex Raptor um, he kind of suffered a similar fate in the tournament where we didn't get to see too much of his deck and how it works so I will be bringing some more character decks uh, some more character deck duels involving Rex Raptor um, but his deck I, I had a lot of fun making it obviously it's like dinosaur monsters this deck does contain a lot of duplicates because we didn't see him play all that many cards throughout the show though he did have some awesome ones um, so bear with me on the duplicates but uh, I think I've built it to the best of my capability and like I said it's a 40 card deck profile and the way that I've built it is I've built it um, based on all of Rex's appearances in duels throughout the show so all the way from Duelist Kingdom all the way throughout to uh, I think the Grand Championship was the last time we saw him duel um, but I basically used all his best cards and kind of like put them together for a 40 card greatest hits. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into the deck profile then. So first of all, uh, with the monsters, Crawling Dragon number two. So it's a four star monster. It's got 1,600 attack and 1,200 defense. In character deck duels, a uh, four star monster with like a 1,600 attack is pretty good, especially if you can get it out nice and early because there's a lot of decks out there that will struggle to overcome something like that. And, uh, you know, it's just an all round kind of like easy monster to get out so you can get your, your tributes off easy. The alternate artwork on it, but I've gone for the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, of course, Rex was famous for having this first of all. He did, of course, lose it to Joey Wheeler. Um, but before then, the Red Eyes Black Dragon was obviously his trump card. And as we all know, it's a seven star monster, 2400 attack, 200 defense. So nothing more needs to be said. Next up, I run a copy of Mega Zowler. It's a six star monster. It has 1800 attack and 2000 defense. Obviously not as good as say the Red Eyes Black Dragon, but this guy only requires one tribute. So, you know, whether you're setting it there for an easy defense, or, you know, if you do need that 1,800 attack to get over something, then this guy is your man. The Serpent Knight Dragon, and I believe this was his, like, kind of, like, trump card in Battle City, though he did obviously lose this to Esperoba. Once again, a seven-star monster. This time it has the random, most random attack. It's got 2,350. Um which I'm a bit unsure as to why, but hey, you know, it's fine. But its defense is 2,400. Its flavor text is a dragon created from the soul of a wicked knight. So it's really cool, I like that. And the, uh, the artwork on Serpent Knight Dragon is obviously uh, really awesome, so cool card all around. Sword Arm of Dragon. So this one's a six star monster. It, it continues the same theme of Serpent Knight Dragon in terms of its really random, um, you know, attack and defense. So it's got an attack of 17, 1,750 and a defense of 2,030. Um, and I don't know why, but <laughs> especially the defense, 2,030, just, it's not even around like 50, it doesn't make sense. But hey, another cool dinosaur monster to add to Rex Raptor's arsenal. Next up, I run two Trachodon. So this guy's a three star monster with 1,300 attack and 800 defense. Um, obviously not the strongest monster in the deck here, but he does have some cards that will allow him to power up those dinosaur monsters. Once again, something you're basically going to get out in the field either as uh, a mean of defense or a mean of tributing into your stronger monsters. Okay, next up we obviously have the card that Rex is known for. So we have two-headed King Rex, and for that reason I run three of these guys, because they are pretty decent. Uh, it's the same as Crawling Dragon number two. It's a four-star monster with 1,600 attack and 1,200 defense. So it's a nice, easy monster to get on the field that can cause some beatdown. Uh, like I mentioned just then with Trachodon as well, obviously we can power this guy up. Um, but an absolute classic monster from the show. This was obviously shown in the, the first time we saw Rex as well. So at that, for that reason, I included three of this guy, just so that we could see him and bring him out to the field and feel like Rex Raptor, I guess. Finally, I run three Eurobeats. It's just a, you know, it's a standard looking dinosaur there. And it's there for the same reason as two-headed two King Rex. 
and Crawling Dragon. It's either going to be for defense or a bit of a beatdown. It's a four star monster, 1500 attack, 800 defense. Awesome. Again at three, I've I've gone with Balloon Lizard at three. Uh, so it's a, a reptile this time, which will come in handy for some of our later plays involving some certain spell and trap cards there. Uh, four star monster, 500 attack, but it's got an impressive 1,900 defense. Uh, it's effect is that you put one counter on this card during each of your standby phases. When this card is destroyed, inflict damage to the controller of the card that destroyed it equal to the amount number of counters times 400 so it can either work for you or against you so it's a good defensive card there so for that reason i've i've run it at three okay next up i have black tyranno and for a tribute monster i never i never usually run anything at uh, more, more than once unless they specifically did so themselves but for this guy I just had to you know it's black tyranno it's awesome it, it just looks like a classic you know kind of like Jurassic Park T-Rex kind of monster so I thought you know this is one that I'd, I'd like to see uh, being used often it's downside that it is a seven star monster so it's going to require two tributes but it does have an attack of 2600 a defense of 1800 its effects is worth those two tributes. Uh, so if this, uh, if the only cards your opponent controls are defense position monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly, which is an absolutely incredible effect for a monster of this caliber, especially in character deck duels. This thing can do a lot of damage. Next up at three, we have three Gilosaurus. A uh, cool little uh, dinosaur there. One of the uh, the thinner kind. It's a three star monster, 1,400 attack and 400 defense. Its effect is you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do this, your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard. So this can be a, a good way of maybe getting the, the weaker kind of like six star monsters out. You can just special summon this guy, then tribute it, and you've got the obviously the thing is Megazowler. Um, yeah, Megazala. Uh, so you've got like a nice 2,000 defense monster there. So you've got that strategy, but of course, bear in mind that your opponent's also going to be able to special summon one monster from their graveyard. So uh, be careful when you use it. But I've got it at three anyway. Final monster is the absolute daddy boss of the deck. If daddy boss is an actual thing. But we have Tyrant Dragon. This guy is an absolute tank and a half. I love this card. So it's a eight star monster. It has 2,900 attack, 2,500 defense. Its effect is during your battle phase, if your opponent controls a monster after this card's first attack, this card can make a second attack. Negate any trap effects that target this card. And if you do, destroy that trap card. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard unless you tribute one dragon type monster. And he has, I think, a couple dragon types in here. I believe it's Serpent Knight Dragon and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. So you can get that off. Um, but of course, with 2,900 attack and its ability to negate trap cards, this guy is going to be an absolute nightmare to take out for your opponent. And uh, it just looks really cool as well. Awesome. Awesome Rex Raptor card then. Onto his spells, I run two big evolution pills. So what you do is you tribute one dinosaur type monster to activate this card. This card remains face upon the field for three of your opponent's turns. While this card is face upon the field, you can normal summon or set dinosaur type monsters without tributing. So that's just gonna just <laughs> that that can be quite broken in character decks, uh, especially with the uh, the type of dinosaurs and stuff he has in here. You can get that black Tyranno out. Um, which is just crazy so awesome awesome card okay i run this at three obviously um me i, I maybe could have run it at two but i thought you know what we'll go with three on this jurassic world field spell card all face up dinosaur type monsters gain 300 attack and defense which can make the difference you know like i said we've got some monsters in there that aren't as strong we've got like the uh 1500 attackers but we also have like the 1600 attackers which they'll become 1900 which in character decks they can be quite a nightmare to take out depends on which character you're using whether you have the right stuff to get over them or not so this card can come like really uh it can, it can be quite quite amazing especially if you like combine that with like black tyranno as well it attacks you directly for like two nine stupid next up i have the staples so these are, are pretty much in every character deck that i have you know sometimes we don't see the characters play them but i i'm a strong believer that they would be in the deck you know these kind of cards would just like absolute staple so we also have monster reborn we also have part of green what does it do right still not sure but i know it's in there okay next up i run two copies of raise body heat so this uh is an equipped 
spell card. Uh, a dinosaur type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by 300 points. So exactly the same kind of process as you would with uh, Jurassic World. It's going to boost those um, those lower attackers. It's going to boost those higher attackers as well. Combine that with Jurassic World. It's gonna get a bit crazy. Final spell card, I run it too as well. So as well as we've got big evolution pill, I also run ultra evolution pill. What you do with this guy is you offer one reptile monster on your side of the field as a tribute, and then you special summon one dinosaur type monster from your hand, which, you know, is only gonna help you out, right? So we've got quite a few reptiles in here, which is awesome. Onto the trap cards then. So I've got two copies of bottomless trap hole and this is basically just to give rex a bit of defense because he's uh, the deck so far you've seen has been quite you know it's been quite attack based in terms of his deck so he hasn't really got too much defense so i've decided to run bottomless trap hole at two obviously we know what it does when your opponent summons a monster 1500 or more attack destroy that monster and then banish it so it's only going to help him out i then run three copies of hunting instinct now i can't remember if he does play this or not i'm sure he does if he runs it at three but i've run it at three anyway because its effect is really really good and it helps this deck so well basically you activate only when a monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field then you special summon one dinosaur type monster from your hand so it's basically them activating the effect of like gillosaurus or something <laughs> you just make that effect um benefit you so i've decided to run that at three like i said it's a bit more defense for rex raptor there final card that I run in his deck is a copy of Volcanic Eruption. Whether he played this or not, this card is definitely going to help his deck out and it's very dinosaur based. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, given the opportunity, Rex Raptor would have ran this card. Uh, but you activate only during your end phase while Jurassic World is on your side of the field, destroy all cards on the field. So it's basically a field cleaner for Rex Raptor there and it's it's just going to help him out. But there we go. That was my Rex Raptor 40 card deck profile. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought of the deck. Let me know uh, if there's anything you'd include, anything you'd take out. Uh, I'm always open to, to suggestions to make these character decks as, as authentic and as best they can. I mean, I'm really happy with this build, but of course, like all these, or like all things, they you know, there's always room for improvement there. Also, you know, there, there is a duel on the channel featuring uh, this deck. It was against Joey Wheeler in the tournament. So check that out. And like I said, I will also be doing some more character decks in the future. So if you want to see these decks in action, let me know. I'll probably like announce nearer the time that I'll start, I'll start to do a few more. So let me know and I'll start taking requests for duels then. But if you want more Yu-Gi-Oh character decks, if you want more character deck duels, you get facts videos and more hit the subscribe button right now also if you found value in today's video don't forget to smash the like button share this video with a friend and you know of course you know leave me a comment in the section below i'm on social media as well so why not connect over there but that is it from me today thank you so much for watching this rex raptor deck profile i'll see you in the next video take care